This is going to be a part one of part two of the videos and we're going to take a look at customary units of capacity. We're first of all in the first video we're going to be taking a look at converting customary units of capacity and then in the second video we're going to be looking at adding and subtracting customary units of capacity. So first of all it's important to understand all the different measurements and even what capacity is. Capacity is the measure of an amount of liquid, so it's important that you understand that. So what we have here, one teaspoon, and then the conversions here, three teaspoons is equal to one tablespoon, one fluid ounce equals two teaspoons, eight fluid ounces equals one cup. So those are some of the measurements that we're going to look at, some of the smaller measurements of capacity and then some of the larger measurements of capacity. One pint, which is what this would represent, equals two cups. One quart equals two pints, one quart right there. And then finally, one gallon equals four quarts, or four quarts equals one gallon. Now, what I want you to do is get out a piece of paper, your math journal, and a pencil, and I want you to draw the gallon monster with me, or the big G. Okay, so what we'll do first of all, as we'll draw a big G on your paper. This represents one gallon, and then within this gallon, within the big G, we're going to write quarts, pints, and cups, and this will help us convert our customary units within um, this lesson today. So, big G, then within the big G, we're going to write four Qs, representing four quarts, equals one gallon. So I'll write those four quarts there. And then within each Q, you're going to write two letter P's representing two pints equals one quart. Make sure you get them all in here. And then finally, within each letter P, I'm going to write two C's representing two cups in each letter P or two cups in each pint. I have to make my ink pretty thin here. So two C's in each letter P. Now what does this tell us? This tells us that four quarts are in a gallon. Also it tells us that eight pints are in a gallon. And it also tells us that 16 cups are in a gallon. Okay, it also tells us that four cups are in a quart. Okay, and then also two pints in a quart and so on. So this is a nice visual that you can take with you as you are converting the customary units today. Now we're going to look at converting some measurements within customary units of capacity. I want you to follow along as I just do a few problems and I'll have you do some with me. Okay, so it's important to remember once again that whenever you're converting measurements, when you go from larger to smaller, you're going to multiply and then smaller to larger, you're going to divide. Okay, so what I do is I'm going to take a look at my units of measurements first of all, and I have pints to quarts. Now I know pints to quarts, I'm going from a smaller to a larger unit of measurement, so what that means, I'm going to be dividing. What am I going to divide by? I'm going to divide by however many pints are in one quart. Now if I take a look at my gallon monster here, I can see that I have two pints in one quart, so I'm going to take 96 and I'm going to divide that by 2. Okay, now whenever I'm working with pints and quarts, I'm always working with the number 2, just figuring out whether I need to multiply or divide. So I'm going to take 96 and I'm going to divide that by 2. Okay, and I can just put that right in my calculator. 96 divided by 2 and that gives me 48. So what that means, 96 pints equals 48 quarts. Okay, and we're going to move on to another one. Now we're taking a look at a problem where we're converting 5 gallons and seeing how many pints, pints that equals. So once again, 
We need to figure out we're going to multiply or divide. We're going from a larger to a smaller unit of measurement. So we're going to multiply. Okay, and where are we, what are we going to multiply by? We need to think about how many pints are in one gallon. Okay, and I know that there are eight pints in a gallon, so we're going to multiply by eight. So what we will do, we will take five times 8, and you should not need a calculator for this since this is a basic multiplication problem. 5 times 8 equals 40, so that means 5 gallons equals 40 pints. Now we have the problem of converting 35 pints into how many cups, so this is a larger to smaller conversion, so we're going to multiply. What are we going to multiply by? We need to figure out how many pints are in, or how many cups are in a pint. Okay, so I have two cups equals one pint. Okay, so what are we going to multiply? We're going to multiply by the number two, so we're going to multiply 35 times two. We can put that right in our calculator since this is not a basic fact here. 35 times two, and that gives me 70. So 35 pints equals 70 cups. Now what I'm going to have you do is get out your math journal, a pencil, and your calculator. And I want you to follow along as we do these next few problems. And I want you to do these next few problems with me. Okay, now we're trying to figure out how many pint, how many what two quarts one pint equals as far as pints are concerned. Okay, so we're going to convert that. So the first thing that we need to do whenever we have a problem like this is we need to figure out how many quarts or how many pints are in a quart. Okay, so I know that I have two pints equals one quart. Okay, and also we're going from larger to smaller unit of measurement, so we're going to be multiplying. What are we going to multiply by? We'll multiply by 2 because 2 pints equals 1 quart. Okay, so we'll take 2 times 2. Don't need your calculator for this one. 2 times 2 equals 4. 4 pints. And then what we'll do with the leftover pint, we'll just add it to that, to the 4. 4 plus 1 equals 5. Okay, so 2 quarts, 1 pint equals 5 total pints. Okay, now we have 18 quarts equals how many pints? Once again, going from larger to smaller, we're going to multiply. What are we going to multiply by? We're going to multiply by the number 2. And the reason why we're going to multiply by the number 2 is because 2 pints equals 1 quart. So we'll take 18. We're going to multiply that by 2. We can do this problem right on our calculator. 18 times 2, that's going to give me 36. So 18 quarts equals 36 pints. Now what I'm going to have you do is press pause on this video, and I want you to work this problem out all by yourself. When you're finished with it, you can press play, and I will have the correct answer on this screen. So what I will have you do is pause the video now. Now here's the correct answer. Nine pints equals four quarts, one pint. You can see smaller to larger, so we divided. We divided nine divided by two. We had the quotient of four with a remainder of one. Okay, so 9 pints equals 4 quarts and 1 pint. Okay, this is the final problem I'm going to have you do all by yourself. And what I want you to do is just press pause. And when you are finished completing this problem, I'll have the correct answer on the screen for you. So I want you to press pause right now. Okay, here's the correct answer. 8 gallons equals 32 quarts. It's important to remember I was going from a larger unit of measurement to a smaller. So because of that, I multiplied. What did I multiply? 8, representing the gallons, times 4, because 4 quarts equals 1 gallon. 8 times 4 did give me 32. So 8 gallons equals 32 quarts. So good luck on customary units of capacity. And please let me know if you have any questions on this concept.
and now you will need to watch the video on adding, cus adding and subtracting customary units of capacity.